going on guys and welcome back to the channel i appreciate you stopping by recently i was contacted by robotime slash roker so they contacted me and they said they enjoyed my channel and they liked what i was doing and they wanted to send me a couple of their models to build on the channel so they told me to pick out a couple and i said sure no problem and uh yeah so the first one i'm going to be building is this one here this is the mechanical species butterfly this is in their uh, mechanical insects line i've built one of them before i built the beetle well this beetle here they have several beetles now uh but i built this beetle here which is really cool uh, i built him here on the channel i'll leave a link to it right up here and in the description down below if you want to check out this build here but anyways this is one of their newest models this is the the butterfly and i thought my wife would really like this one a lot it also comes in blue, and I will put a picture of the blue one right here, so you can check that out. Uh, this is called the pink one, but it, the butterfly itself is kind of blue and green. Uh, just really the flower is what's uh, pink about it, and the base. Uh, so I thought my wife would like this one a little bit better. Uh, but the blue one is cool looking too. Everything is blue on it with gold accents. Anyways, Roker, I appreciate it very much that you guys send these out to me so I can build them on my channel. So if you guys are interested in building any of the Roker models, I will leave a link to their website in the description down below. And also, it's right here. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, before I show you the box, I'm going to get this uh, wrapper off of it so that we can actually see it a little better. Cut this off of here. There we go. Now we'll be able to see it without so much shine on it. This is from the Organisms Awaken line. This is the Mechanical Species Butterfly. It's got mechanical flapping wings on it. Uh, the rose lights up in the middle with a warm glow. Its antenna also lights up, as you can see here. Uh, so it must have fiber optics running through there, which is kind of neat. Uh, this one is for ages 14 and up right there. Let's look at the back. Goes over more about it on the back here. Uh, if you haven't built one of these, all the pieces are, are in the sprues and you cut them off, cut them off the sprues and put them on. So, uh, uh, warning, choking hazard uh, for zero to three years old, keep it away because of small parts as always. And this will take a, uh, a couple of batteries as well. Yeah, right here. It needs three uh, AAA batteries, which I do have. So let's go ahead and open the box up. Oh, this is neat. I like this. Unfortunately, mine's a little bent because it's flipped around the box, but uh, they had this in the beetle one too, which is pretty cool. It's almost like a the like a drawing of it. Uh, half is just drawn and half is colorized, as you can see. Uh, pretty neat. I like that. So here's the sprues here with the pieces on it. Oh, here's the uh, pieces of the rose. It looks like some more pieces out here. It looks like part of the rose again. This likes, uh, looks like part of the wings. Uh, Dolly Parton would love this. Here is our instruction manual on how to put it together. This looks like a parts list, I think. Yes, yes. Here is the base. And just like the other one, it's just got a little touch sensor pad here. You just touch it. You don't have to click it. It's not a button. You just touch it and it'll come on. Touch it again and it goes off. Here's our connection in here. And here's where we will put the batteries. Oh, here's the antennae. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, they're made of fiber optic more than likely. So that the light can shine through. And then we get a box here with uh, more pieces. Oh, it looks like we get a little tool kit, which is cool. I get another set of uh, plastic uh, tweezers, which are nice to have. There's some uh, a little uh, grease. You get a little toothpick, small screwdriver. Uh, here's our little bags of parts here screws there's our motor the stem of the plant and some more wing parts in here and we also get a uh a little sanding stick here as well all right guys without further ado let's get to build it
right, guys, we are all done with the mechanical butterfly sent to me by Roker. Very cool. Turn it on there. I like how nice and slow the wings move. You get the uh, nice glow there in the rows. And then it speeds up and slows down. And then you can see the antennae there flashing. They do light up. You have to be kind of looking straight forward at them. So you can see them lit up there. There they go. They kind of get a little stronger and a little, uh, a little stronger and a little weaker. And you get this little flower here that hangs. Now you can let this run and after three minutes it'll shut off on its own so it doesn't run down the batteries. Isn't that pretty? I think my wife's really going to like that uh, sitting on her desk at work. It's really not that loud. You just get a nice little light hum of the motor. And I don't know if you can hear it at all unless I'm talking because of my uh, you know noise suppression on the mic. And you can see the little things flashing now, the antennae. What a pretty, pretty model. Very pretty. Very fun to build, guys. This one was super fun to build. Very easy. Uh, a low uh, difficulty on this one, for sure. Uh, let me see if it says... Yeah, this is just a two. This is just a two out of five star difficulty level on Roker's uh, difficulty scale. So it was a very easy model to put together. Uh, you just had to pay attention, make sure you got the wires in the right slots and put them in properly. Uh, but other than that, super easy model to put together and uh, very fun. Very fun model. Check that out. It works so nicely, too. Put that beside the, um, the beetle that I did before. <laughs> this one just rocks. The little wings flapping. Got the little lights. Got the nuclear. Hang on the back there. Uh, very different, uh, but in the same genre of the mechanical insects. Just thought I would show that one for comparison. This is the star of the show today, for sure. Uh, very delicate looking. Just really, really pretty how it moves. And there you go. After three minutes, it shuts off on its own, so you don't have to worry about running the batteries down. If you forget to turn it off, it will turn off itself. I like all the gold accents. Uh, on the wings and on the butterfly's body itself. The little jewel there in the back is uh, really pretty. Even using gold screws for more accent where you can see the screws. I like how the wiring wraps around the stem here so it just looks like more vines. They did a great job on this. What a well designed model. Super nice. Really like this one. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind getting the blue and gold one down the road for myself to put on the shelf. Uh, just to have both of them. But uh, this one definitely I promised to my wife. So she's getting this one here. Uh, really cool build. And I had a lot of fun doing it. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get out of here for now. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this... Is black and red builds. See ya. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there. <laughs>